Good morning folks, Simon here, welcome back once again to Final Fantasy VIII as we begin our live stream here. Start of the week, Monday, hope you guys are having, uh, or have had rather, a pleasant weekend. Um, got quite a lot to get on with this week in terms of the game, I want to try and make as much progress as we can, which means multiple streams, at least that's the plan right now. So hello to those of you that have stopped by in chat already. I can see Crystal, Bree, Roger, Car, Serenity, Adam in Japan, awesome. Uh, Serenity, I said, yes, fantastic. Welcome, guys, and anybody else that's joined us, Shana. Hello. Uh, let me just sort out my chat so that I can see whilst I play. I usually do this before I get started, but I'll admit I forgot today, so. Uh, there we have it. Right, I've just put out a video for the Queen of Cards. If you guys haven't checked that out and want to make sure that you're staying up to date with that, then you can do so. Uh, mostly, you know, in terms of keeping rules in a somewhat acceptable fashion, which is a real nuisance. Serenity says, do I think it's worth grinding to level 30 on characters in order to get Holy and Flare from level 30 Diablos? Um, what I think, Serenity, is that that's a viable way of getting those magics, mainly because of the fact that Diablos... Even though he has a very high spirit stat, which is a real nuisance when it comes to drawing, is a little bit easier, in my opinion, than, say, trying to draw Holy from Amiga later on. But that said, you can still get those magics from other sources, so you don't need to draw them from Diablos. And for me, I think staying at low level for the time being, just in order to get the most out of those permanent uh, stat boosts later on from the Guardian forces, uh, tips me in favour of saying no. I wouldn't level up for Diablos, in all honesty. But it's certainly a viable choice. Hi David, welcome, and Crazy Beto, Matthew and John Wan, and Blake, and Roger the Second, which is helpful because there's Roger the First in here as well, I believe, somewhere. So, hi Laura, welcome to the stream, how's it going? Yeah, did everybody get up to anything exciting during the weekend? Daniel, $2 super chat, that's very kind of you. Hey, Fuzz, you waited for the stream, or I waited for the stream. So, yep, well, we're here now, and hopefully going to make some decent progress. Right, so we left off in Timber, didn't we? Uh, so we're going to just go through the first part of the stream by making our way through various story sections. Quite a bit of dialogue and what have you. But hey, gives us time to chat while our characters are taking care of their business. Hi Zarek, good afternoon to you dude. Are you streaming today? Or having a bit of a break at the moment? <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Thomas says, hey guys, forgot to send the Queen of Cards to Dalek before Timber. Will I still be able to do this later in the game when I can get back to Balam? Yeah, I believe so, Thomas. Yeah, you should be able to, but sadly you can't get back to Balam at the moment. Which is a bit of a nuisance. But yeah, later on you should be good. Uh, Damon, hello, and Orias, good morning. It's been a while since we chatted, I think, hasn't it? Hey, Wes. Well, there's a lot of chirpy people in chat today, it's got to be said. Right, so, okay, we're going to get to watch the broadcast with the President. Uh, but not before, if memory serves, we tick Renoa off and she goes storming off in a bit of a huff. Oh, is that when you have to do it next? Is it Car Gamer? Yeah, that's quite a bit later on then. Yeah, but at least you can still do it then, Thomas, even if it's not for a while. Yeah, oh, the rules when it comes to Triple Triad are a right nightmare, aren't they? That's why I'm trying to put these little guides out. You guys might have seen them. Um, as we get to those parts of the game, I'm just covering exactly what you need to do with the Queen and with the various rules in each region as you get to that region. So then hopefully we can stay on top of it. And you guys that are following along can just copy what I do then. Yes, you can, Phantom. You can draw it from Diablos, but it has to be quite high level. Yeah, great weekend. Thanks, Laura. Uh, although it's a little bit miserable at the moment where I am in the UK. It's been pouring down with rain this morning. And it doesn't bode well because next week I'm taking the family uh, away for a couple of days to a theme park down south. And... It's always a bit of a risk doing that in the UK in September, but I'm hoping we're going to have a little bit of an improved weather situation than what we've got right now. 
Oh, I dare not tell you anything about the Great Crystal. YouTube will probably end up banning me from live streaming if I did. Yeah, don't get me thinking about that. I've just recovered from the nightmares from it. I don't want to start them up again. Uh, doesn't matter what we select here. Even if we select forget it, we're still going to tell it anyway because, well, Squall is quite stubborn. He doesn't listen to the player. Oh, that's good then, Thomas. Sounds like you're steaming ahead of where I am right now. Yeah, I think we uh, got the Timber Maniacs issue. Was that on the last stream, Ovias? I'm trying to think. Uh, we did get a Timber Maniacs issue anyhow. Yeah, we haven't missed anything yet. Yeah, that was ages ago, that was, Zarek. Yeah, I remember though, dude. You're definitely one of the, uh, the longest running viewers that I've got on the channel that still uh, interacts with me on a regular basis. And I obviously really appreciate it, as I do with all of the guys here in chat, of course. Oh, how did you get them then, Crystal? Was that from the 50 Ruby Dragons? Because you were trying to farm for those, I think, the last time you spoke to me about it, weren't you? Yeah, thanks, Crazy Vato. Yeah, the UK does get snow, Shana, but it's very unpredictable. If we do get it, it tends to be around February or March time. Though you can get it pretty much any time, really, from, like, November onwards. <laughs> Creeper says the Great Crystal should be a banned word. Yeah, I can understand where you're coming from there, Griever. I can just imagine the guys from Prima Games, Prima Games, or Brady, or whoever it was that did the guide for Final Fantasy XII, speaking to the developers and saying, we've got a great idea. It'll sell us more guides. Uh, and that is, make a dungeon that's horrible and actually don't put a map in for it. <laughs> Imagine how it makes me feel, Zarek. <laughs> oh, that sucks, Wes. Uh, blind does wear off. Oh, does it, Crystal? Oh, I did not know that. I don't think I've ever had that happen to me. It must, like, remain for quite a while. I know it can be cured, or uh, eye drop to whatever it is that enemies can sometimes do, depending on the enemy. But pretty much overall, I did not know that Blind could just wear off by itself, so that's interesting. Uh, I don't think we'll be getting the Lionheart today, Orias, since... Mind you, we're not that far away. Once we get to the Tomb of the Unknown King, we can get the Minotaur card, but I don't think we'll be getting that far in this episode. There's still some other farming and stuff I need to do. I want to get Mug unlocked on Diablos, first of all. Yeah, pretty much... My thoughts as well, Laura. Hating the Great Crystal, but loving the game overall. It's interesting, me Final Fantasy XII. Um, I did complete it on PS2 when it came out back in the day, 2006, if I remember. But I, I never really had a memorable experience with it. But since the Zodiac Age, maybe because I'm a little bit older, played a lot of other games since, just appreciated it so much more. Had a lot of fun with Final Fantasy XII, the remastered version. Uh, which is why I ended up doing like 200 to 300 or something videos uh, on it on the channel. But yeah, definitely a good game, in my opinion. Apart from that one dungeon. <laughs> Square predicted Trump. Although this is only the announcer, he's not the actual president. They won't drop it for me, sadly, Car Gamer. It's a good tip, but you need to be a higher level. However, I do want to go and kill those Adamantois. Uh, the reason being is, first of all, I need to learn Mug on Diablos. And then second of all, once you've learned Mug, you can actually Mug them for... I can't remember the name of the item, but whatever it is, it teaches Quistis a White Wind Limit Break. Which uh, is an ability you can't get by refining any cards. So, Hello Yum Yum, welcome to the stream. Would you say this is your favourite Final Fantasy game then, Jamie? A lot of the time, people tend to say their favourite happens to be the first one that they played. That Wolf One's Den, thanks for subbing. Yeah, just begun. Yum yum. 
Yeah, level 20 is it, card game. I think I'm about level 8 at the moment. I'm going to go for the ultimate weapons, Grant, but I'm only really going to be going for the Lionheart on disc one. I'll save the others until later. Hey, Cedric. Oh, you haven't missed anything, really. Only a load of in-game dialogue more than anything. Yeah, Philip, I'll show you when we get there, because we won't actually be too far away, rather than trying to explain it to you. If you, well, I reckon about five minutes we'll be there. Maybe a little bit after that, but not much after. Uh, but I won't be getting Antimantine from them, as I say, because I'm too low level. But I still will be farming them for the AP to learn the Mug ability. And then we're going to Mug them in order to get the uh, item that can teach Quistis that White Wind Limit. Which is a very nice limit break. And I don't think you can learn it from card stuff, from refining cards. Yeah, definitely, Daniel. Outside of all the Final Fantasies, at least up until that point, Final Fantasy XII was the one with the most replayability. Although FF10 and X2 did have quite a bit as well. But XII just had a ton with all the hunts and everything, didn't it? Ah, okay, yum yum. Yeah, Final Fantasy VI is a classic. One in which I hope also gets a re-release at some point. I think the next Final Fantasy to be getting re-released is Crystal Chronicles, isn't it? A game I've never played myself, actually. Uh, but one in which I know a lot of you guys on the channel are looking forward to because you've told me about it in chat before. So, uh, I've seen a few of the trailers for it, including a recent one. Looking forward to actually uh, trying it out myself for the first time. I never had a GameCube, I think it was, in 2004 when it first came out in the West. Which is why I've never played it. Yeah, I wonder if they were Shana. Probably have to uh, like zoom in or something to, to try and see what it was. Hmm. Yeah, good question, Game Slayer. Be interesting to see where they would take the story after the end of Final Fantasy VIII. Uh, we can't really ask the same for Final Fantasy VII, which is my favourite Final Fantasy because there's already so many sequels and stuff to that game. Hi Peter, welcome to the stream. Patrick, I'm doing good, thanks. How are you? Oh wow, you're storming through the adventure then, Patrick. Yeah, Grant, I'm going for what I'm just saying, a platinum walkthrough. So I want to get the platinum trophy, that's my aim. I'm trying to veer away from saying 100% nowadays, even though for all intents and purposes, as far as I'm concerned, it would be 100%. Because I always get a lot of hate from people that have various definitions of what 100% means and then say I haven't done it. So, I'm just going to say a platinum playthrough. And I might do extra things as well as the platinum, but that's like the minimum that I want to get. Uh, no, you can't, Wes. 255 is the hard limit, unfortunately. So once your stats are very high, you're better off just sticking weak magic if you can get to 255 to save your stronger magics, either for other junctions or for casting. Hmm, this is the first time I think we've seen uh, Adia, isn't it? And I've got to say, she looks pretty good actually here in the remastered version. Yeah, I saw a Reddit post actually, Grant. I think it was a Reddit post. Might have been a Game Facts forum thread, I can't remember. But somewhere, uh, somebody suggested that perhaps... Or, or, or that's the question, rather, how the game would have been if it was all from Laguna's point of view as opposed to from Squall. So, set, you know, quite a bit before the game as it is, but what the game itself would have been like then. Uh, I don't think so, to be honest, David. No. 
I think if... Yeah, I don't think they're going to be doing that. Because they've added the exit button to the main menu, which is actually a hard reset, not a soft reset. I think that kind of replaces having to push all the buttons for a soft reset. So I don't think they're going to be putting um, that into the game. Yeah, that's it, Wes. Pretty much the same as Final Fantasy 7 and 8 in terms of the damage you can do and the max health and whatnot. The only difference is in Final Fantasy 8, the max level... No, I meant Final Fantasy... The same as 7 and 9. Uh, but the only difference is, is that in 8, the max level is 100 as opposed to 99. Hey, Jake. Doing good, thanks. How are you? Nice, Carl. You got your lion heart. Very good. Very good. We've got quite a bit of farming to do in this episode, I'm afraid, folks. So, uh, just be prepared for that once we've got through all this story stuff here. Yeah, that's an awesome achievement there, Crystal, to get 50 Ruby Dragon cards. Come on. Get the right angle. There we go. Oh. <laughs> well, that's very kind of you, Daniel. <laughs> to be honest with you, I don't tend to check how many views the streams are getting. I only really know when you guys say in chat. Uh, mainly because the thought of when I see, like, anything more than 50 makes me worry that I've got too big of an audience then. But, uh, no, I really appreciate you guys stopping by and checking out these streams. And the videos, of course. I personally don't consider my content to be anything called that special, if I'm being honest with you. But people have seemingly gravitated to it over the last couple of years. And, well, I'm just really humbled and appreciative of that. Yeah, I do play World of Warcraft, Matthew. Uh, I haven't played it for a while, just because I haven't really had time to play a whole lot uh, pretty much anything outside of what I'm doing for YouTube. But I haven't really played WoW Classic since it's been released. Though I have played World of Warcraft um, since it's released back in Europe in 2005. Hey, thanks Grant. But I don't get to do as much in WoW as I used to even when I do play. Um, so raiding and stuff is pretty much uh, out of the question outside of the uh, looking for raid thingy. Mm. Yeah, I can imagine, Crystal. Right, we need to... Uh, yeah, if you've been farming for those 50 cards, that's going to take a fair bit of time. So, yeah, that must have taken some perseverance there. Um, It's difficult to say, SG Gamer, because... The original is actually pretty awesome because it's got the full mod support. Well, not official full mod support, but it's the ones that the fans themselves have supported. So not only can you get it looking pretty awesome, but you can also have gameplay mods and all kinds of stuff that you might want to dabble in, which you can't really get with the remastered version yet. But I'm hoping eventually mod support is going to come to this game also. Hey, thank you, Grant. <laughs> and Wes and Serenity, thank you. Yeah, Esther is quite a confusing place, I'll be honest with you. It does take a bit of getting used to, doesn't it? Right, so we're nearly through all the dialogue here. It's not as bad as the Great Crystal, but it is quite confusing.
Right, so we just need to speak to Quistis here a couple of times. We can chat to some of the other party members if we want to, before we do that. Although, they haven't got a whole lot to say. Zell in particular. What actually happens, do you think, when a party member just replies with dots? Are they huffing? Are they puffing? Are they just staring at you? Uh, Cyberbully, you like the OP? Ah, oh, that, yeah. That's good then, Cyberbully. Yeah, it's an interesting way to play the game by OPing yourself. Is that, any, is that even a verb, OPing? Well, I'm sure it is for you, like, you know what I mean. Yeah, it's an interesting way to play by OPing yourself early, isn't it? But you do have to work for it, so it's not like it's just been handy to you. You've got to do quite a bit of grinding to get there. I don't know, Roger, but they are remastering Crystal Chronicles because that's coming out January 23rd, I think, next year. <laughs> yeah, the cat. Mm. Good point, Orias. Good point. Ah, they just stare at you. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, we're going to be getting on the train soon, though we're not going to be getting off, actually, at the first station, which is where the game wants you to get off. Because there is some grinding I want to do, and that's why I don't think we're going to be hitting the tomb today, Orias. Although, maybe, if I manage to get to stream later on this afternoon or this evening, we could perhaps reach the tomb at that point. Your wife loves my accent, Orias. I wish my wife did. <laughs> Yeah, they are, Wes. I never played it myself, having not owned a GameCube. Uh, but from what I've seen, it looks to be a pretty decent upgrade. And not only is it a graphical upgrade, but they're actually adding some extra content and dungeons and stuff in. So, who knows? Could be another walkthrough for the channel, if people are interested in it. Be a nice uh, excuse for me to get to the game for the first time. It's an action role-playing game, which looks quite interesting, I'll be honest. Is The Last Hope any good? Uh, yes, Rich, it is good. But not in terms of the actual presentation of the story. I think that's really quite poor. But the game itself, in terms of the gameplay and the mechanics and the party progression, it's really a lot of fun, actually. Something that I enjoy a lot. But if you're mostly into your JRPGs for the story and stuff, mm, there's better choices out there. Okay, we just need to leave now, I think. I'm not actually from London, Shana. I'm from uh, the middle of the country, about 25 miles out from a city called Birmingham. Uh, so I've actually got a Birmingham brummy type accent. But probably about 150, 180 miles, I think, away from London, perhaps. Yeah, one of the things I would love to see modded for the remastered version Cyberbully is the backgrounds. For sure. Oh, well, that's good to know, Grant. Yeah, well, you guys let me know in chat if you'd be interested in me covering Crystal Chronicles when it's released next year. Hey, it will tie us over, perhaps, until the Final Fantasy VII remake comes out two months later. Which is March the 3rd. Uh, I'm just going to switch Selfie back for Renoa at this point. Because Renoa has slightly stronger stats. And I don't have to switch the junctions around then either. Yeah, one thing I've heard as well about Crystal Chronicles, guys, is that you'll be able to do multiplayer. Now, you could do multiplayer in the original, uh, but obviously that was a different kind of multiplayer for the GameCube. You had to use link cables and whatnot. Uh, whereas with the remastered release, they're actually implementing proper 
I believe online multiplayer as well. I haven't checked since the weekend, but I don't know if there's any mods yet for the remaster. When there are, I'll probably pick up the PC version and make some videos on that for you guys as well. Oh yeah, absolutely Crystal. I think it's the island closest to hell is a great place to finally level up to 100 if you've been holding off on your levels until then. So by then you'll have the stats increases as well from the Guardian Force abilities. So yeah, I'll definitely be planning on visiting those places. Right, so, once we've finished speaking up with Watts here, we're going to be boarding the train. But we're actually going to be back to Timber as well, because I need to sort out the Queen of Cards, or not the Queen of Cards, sorry, but the trade, not the trade rules even, just the other rules uh, for Triple Triad in Dolit. I did do a video on it, but that was on another save file, so I need to do it on this save file as well. Okay, yeah, they're pretty much the same, aren't they? In terms of the fact they all have high-level enemies that don't level down, even if you're low-level, if I remember correctly. Hey, Chrissy. Yeah, you made it. Welcome to the stream. I've not noticed any problems with it, Shanksy. I've not even touched the D-pad, I don't think, outside of menus. And it seems to be working fine. Camel, hello, welcome. I'm on PS4 at the moment, Grant. I've got the PS4 version so that I can go ahead and get the Platinum Trophy. Yep, I certainly have Cyber Pulley. The big one that I've experienced so far is in Balam Garden, uh, where Sid is part of the background. And yeah, he's very jarring in that scene. Yeah, greetings, folks. For those of you that have just stopped by the stream, good to have you here. Yeah, cactuar farming. Everybody loves a bit of cactuar. At least the Guardian forces do. You can ride chocobos in Final Fantasy VIII. Um, you don't do so as often. But yeah, you can do. You can get them from the forests. There's a little mini game you can play in order to ride them. Though you can also just pay a child NPC. Uh, to avoid having to play the mini game. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. What's interesting, Cyber, is that the modders weren't able to replace the character models from the uh, PC version of Final Fantasy VIII because of how they were coded in. So there's a big discussion now on the uh, modders forum as to how Square have actually done that because, by the way, guys, this version of the game that we're all playing, the remastered version, if you're on console, is actually the original PC port. They've just ported it again, but this time for the remastered version. Uh, which is why there's no rumble in the controller. Uh, and why the battle transition animations only comes from the one side of the screen and things of that nature. Because it's the, uh, the poorer Final Fantasy VIII port from PC from 1999. The only difference is they've replaced the soundtrack with the PlayStation soundtrack. Unless if you're playing the PC version, then it can actually bug and go back to the original MIDI files from the PC port, which is kind of weird. Uh, I was worried that I'd saved over the wrong statement. No, oh, sorry, the wrong statement, the wrong save file. Yeah, I think they must have done yum yum. I think they must have done. I still haven't got the healing working. I just want to check this because 
The dude in here is supposed to heal you, isn't he? But he does not heal me, and there's nothing else in here that heals. Yeah, definitely, Chrissy. Absolutely. I'll be getting those. Well, planning on it anyway. Yeah, I thought it was that dude I was just speaking to, Crystal. But he does not heal me. Hey, Kota. Yeah, it's been a while. How you doing? Right, so the destination, as far as the story is concerned... Hey, I've just noticed. Has the train been updated in this scene, the model? Looks like it has, hasn't it? It's got quite a crisp edge to it. How unusual. Um, yeah, so the East Academy is the destination, but we're going past that. Naomi, thanks for subbing. Yeah, I've tried going to the sink, and it just doesn't do anything for me. Unless I just didn't get the angle right. Uh, but I tried off stream earlier, and it just was not working. XX Noct, welcome, hello. Yeah, I'm doing good, thanks, Kota. You on the same part, are you, Noct? Oh, well, that's handy then. Yeah, Blake, I'm going to keep myself low level until uh, I get to pretty much where we can go to the island closest to heaven and the island closest to hell. Uh, mainly because that's when you should have all the stat boosts from the Guardian forces, like strength boost, magic boost, etc. So you can make the most out of those. And you get good experience from those places as well. <laughs> Squall's learned how to keep selfie happy, it seems. Oh, okay, Crystal. I'll try it out again. Another, well, it's probably going to be a while now when I'm next at that bit, but I'll try and remember to do so. Hey, Dylan. Yeah, going good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, could be Orias. Yeah, I have got full HP. Good point. Right, so I think we need to chat to all of the ladies first, then we can go ahead and chat to Zell. Oh, yeah, definitely, Jamie. It's nostalgia overload, isn't it? Oh, when you say you're in Dolly, Isaiah, is that Dolly when you're on the mission? Um, where, like, the spider and that is? Memory someone we will never know. Thanks for subbing. Uh, or is it Dolly that comes after this bit? Because I'm going to be going to Dolly shortly. It's the death levelling is fun. <laughs> yeah. Death assigned to status attack is fun. Yes, we will, Shana. We're going to be heading over to Galbadir Garden. That's as far as the story is concerned anyway. Uh, but we've got a few detours until then. Oh, I wish, David. <laughs> are you at work, are you, Dylan? On your break, I hope. I don't want to get you into trouble. Oh, you're on the seed mission. Yeah. You'll get there, Isaiah. Just keep at it. Uh, did I forget to draw Eden? I don't remember. Crystal, I don't think so, because the last time I played Final Fantasy VIII was when I did a walkthrough for the channel. And I'm pretty sure I drew Eden at that point. But I could have done in the past. If I did, I don't remember. I would have wiped it from my memory, from my memory I think, so that I didn't uh, have to dwell on it for too long. Right, let's go ahead and speak to Zelly Boy. He probably wouldn't appreciate being called Zelly Boy, would he? Yeah, we need to select Leave Him Alone. Oh, okay, Patrick. Yeah, welcome, by the way, dude. And we're off on the non-remastered world map. 
Yeah, drawing Guardian Forces is something you do kind of have to stay on top of, isn't it? Right from when you first get uh, the ability to draw Siren. Yeah, I'll show you Diablos, though I haven't done any farming with him yet. Which we are about to do a little bit soon. <laughs> yeah. Chicken muss, as Cypher would call him. Right then, so we've got a Guardian Forces, Diablos. Da, 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 da. Uh, that's what I've learned. So I prioritise time magic and status magic. And now I'm focusing on Mug. Whoa, I've got 180 points to get for Mug. That's annoying. Uh, anyhow. Anyhow, anyhow. We need to make our way over to... First of all... Dolit. Yeah, we're going to go to Dolit. I'm going to try and sort the rules out with Triple Triad. Uh, because of the way we can brute force RNG now... We should be able to do this. I did a video on it, and I'm hoping I'm just going to repeat that process and get exactly the same results. Yeah, kind of don't need the no encounter thing now. Yum yum's the only thing. Now that we can just, like, click a button and there it is, look. But, yeah. I know what you mean. Normally that would be a good thing to prioritise. Kind of feels like a waste to do it now, though. Right, so I'm going to save normally. Uh, we're going to go ahead at this point and reload our save. So we're going to spread open, first of all. This is the plan, if everything works correctly, as it should do, because of the way RNG works in Final Fantasy VIII. It should always work exactly the same way if we follow this process. Uh, we're going to spread open, and then we're going to go ahead and abolish the random rule. Now, remember, guys, if you're following along, this only works if you've moved the Queen to Dalit, as I did previously. Oh, no. That sucks, Cyberbully. Oh, gosh, I hate the random rule. Oh, I just thought I need to go ahead and save. Now, I've just messed up the RNG by drawing. In fact, I don't even think I'm supposed to draw. Right, let's go ahead and quit. I have no idea, Yum Yum. I really do not know. All I know is it works, so I'll take it. <laughs> right, so we speak to this guy. We say no to him. We speak to him again for a second time. We say no for a second time. We speak to him for a third time, and this time we say yes. And now when we quit, look at all those horrendous rules. Uh, we should spread the open rule. Yes, there we go. Uh, so next up, we're going to be making our way back to Timber. So we're going back to Timber, and we're going to play one of the guards outside of Timber. Uh, also, I'm not going to disable random enemy encounters, because I would like to actually farm some AP. Oh, actually, these guys are pretty horrible. Because I think they're going to get, like, one shot. So it's really hard to card them. The Adamantoids are much better off. But we'll see how we get on here. I cannot do anything with Squall, because he will just kill everything. He's too powerful. Probably need to take Tornado off his attack. Right, there's one. There's two. Oh, should we risk attacking this guy with Squall? No, I think we just end up killing him and then getting experience. We'll start chipping away at him with Renoa. Remember, all the enemies are low level as well, because we're low level. They don't have a lot of health. I think next time, I'm going to risk attacking a snake if we get one. Oh, 
Oh, Grendel. Yeah, that's a good idea. Quick to card as well. Nice. And plus we need to get the uh, Dragon Fangs from them anyway, don't we? So that'd be a good idea. Right, let me just sort out my Guardian Forces. Make sure they're not learning rubbish abilities. Like GFHP plus 10%, which I do not want. Uh, elemental Attack's probably better. Uh, or even Magic plus 40%. Let's go for that, shall we? That way we can get the Magic Bonus ability next up. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. And then obviously Diablos is learning Mug. Oh yeah, Odin is very, very rude, isn't he? He's like, I'm going to give you experience whether you want it or not. I'm just going to escape these battles for now. Uh, let's just turn on no battle encounters. Right, so we're going to head back. It's just not a good place to farm out here. Look, this is a good place to farm though. Oh, crud, I did not mean to go there. I forgot. This is actually where the story wants us to go. Uh, maybe it's not too late. Maybe, uh, no, this is where we're, um, yeah, I know what's going to happen here. We're going to have to either play through this story or just restart. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to quit. I did not, I completely forgot that was the forest where things advance. Uh, it's okay, we just saved at the pub. Yeah, we'll miss out on the 6 AP. It's reload time. Do not go in that forest. Not unless you actually want to proceed, which I do not right now. Got too much to do to worry about story stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's not sleepy time yet. I refuse to go to sleep. Hey, Abby. Welcome to you in the Philippines. No. No. Yes, and spread open. There we go. Right, let's try again. QWTY77, thanks for subbing. Appreciate that. Hey, James. That's awesome feedback. Thank you. I'm glad they help you. Appreciate you taking the time to share that with me. Right, so we're not going in that forest look. We're going over the bridge instead. Uh, just follow the path all the way around. This should take us back to Timber. Yeah, there it is. Look. Uh, we're going to save outside of Timber. I'm pretty sure we've done everything right, so we'll just stick with the same save file. I won't, just in case something doesn't work. Uh, I don't have to start the entire game for the beginning. So, okay, one, well, save two. Slot two, save two. Right. Uh, no. What we need to do now is keep playing this guy, or offering to play this guy, until he stops asking us to spread rules with this dialogue here. As soon as he comes up asking us to play cards immediately, then we're done. Uh, can take a little bit of time to get through this bit though. Oh man, trying to get rid of rules and stuff is something that very quickly becomes the bane of my existence in Final Fantasy VIII. Straight after the Al Noyle cards anyway. Right, now he's no longer asking us to spread rules, so that's fine. Oh, there's one more thing though that we can do. Uh, and that is... Just let me check one thing first. There's nothing to do in here, is there? I don't think there is. Nah. Um, there's one more thing we need to do in Timber. And that's speaking to the guy. Over here. If you don't speak to this guy now, I think you miss out on a nice item later on. Oh yeah, see you later, Grant. Yeah, it'd be cool if we can catch you later. Oh, did I choose the right dialogue option? Then I was reading chat. Yeah, no, don't give up. We need to encourage him. 
We need to encourage that fella, really. Uh, there is a Timber Maniacs in the Dalit Hotel. I don't think so much here, unless we've got one already. Um, I'll stop buying the inn. But I'm pretty sure it's the Dalit Hotel that has one. But just to be on the side that covers all bases, we shall go ahead and check. Oh yeah, good idea, Noct. Oh no, look, there is something there. No, don't make me spend another 100 gil. That would be really mean. Yeah, there we go. You're all right, guys. Thanks for that. Hey, Roman. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, there we go, Shana. Got the magazine. I knew there was one in Dalit. I couldn't remember if there was one here, but that's why it just pays to check, doesn't it? What's 100 gil at the end of the day? Yeah, cheers, guys. Got the magazine now. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure we're not doing enemy encounters. Uh, we're going to head back to Dolit at this point. Abolish the random rule. And then maybe start just farming a little bit on the Adamantoys. Perhaps. Mostly for the AP at this point. There's not much else we can get from them. Not without the mug command. So we're going to go ahead, let's save, but let's actually stay and grab the magazine first of all. Double issues of Timber Maniacs. Uh, the whole stream should go up automatically, Nate, at the end. Uh, it can take a couple of hours because YouTube sorts it all out for me as an archive, but yeah, it should go up for you. Oh, that's awesome, Wes. Well, let's go ahead and save at this point. And now, in order to abolish the random rule, we're going to exit and reload. And we're going to repeat exactly the same process that we did when we first arrived with that NPC. And this time, because we've reloaded, this should force us to abolish the random rule. Uh, so, once again, we're going to reject his offer to play two times. And then on the third, we'll select yes... And then we'll quit. So right now we've got all of that horrendous rule stuff. Random, same, you name it, we've got it. We'll quit. And the random rule has been abolished. Now when we offer to play. We've got open, which is a nice rule. And elemental is bearable. So yeah, we're pretty much sorted. As long as we've got rid of that stupid random rule. So hopefully that will help you guys. But I have got a dedicated video. Two videos up actually. On the Queen of Cards, if you guys are interested in that. Right. Yes, that's the plan. To fight and card those Adamantoys. They can be a bit of a nuisance to card because they have quite a lot of health. Um, but I might go ahead and even though they have quite a bit of health, I'm going to take uh, Squall's Junction Magic off Tornado. Conflicting frequencies. Thanks for subbing. And the reason for that is because you can also get those fish to spawn. And uh, we don't want to score one shot in them. Oh, well, that's very kind of you, Nate. Yeah, I hope you, uh, if you do follow along, you enjoy. We're pretty much maxing out everything in this game. So, a little bit of grinding if you do everything that I do. But hopefully worth it. Right then. We shouldn't one-shot them now. No, should be okay. So yeah, this is where the Adamantoys spawn. Uh, I'd rather not kill these. So hopefully we won't. Ooh. Ooh. Right, that's your card now. Yeah. 
plus, my mind's gone blank on that, but same means that your opponent usually, or you, but I often find it's the opponent, uh, turns a lot of cards over to their side if it's the same number uh, or the same element or something. It's a rule that I don't like using, so I'll just get rid of it. Whenever possible, anyway. Right, this is the Edamantoise. So, yeah, these can take a little bit of uh, attacking before they'll card. Mainly because they have such high defense and quite high health, even though in my game they're going to be very low level. Okay, that's why uh, we have the three times speed up option. Now, I'm not farming these for the Adamantine, guys. They won't actually drop it for me anyway. Be nice if they did, because I wouldn't have to get the Minotaur card to find them. I'm only farming these right now for AP. And once the Ablos has learned uh, Mug, then we'll be able to actually mug an item for them to, learn, to give Quistis a really nice limit break that can't be get, uh, collected from farming cards. I'm not sure, Rowdy, to be honest with you. I'm sorry. Uh, I might just go ahead and stick Tornado back on school. This could uh, take a bit of a while otherwise. I took Tornado off him because it makes carding the Fasty Locum fish guys a little bit more challenging. But by not having it on, it makes farming these guys a little bit more challenging. Come on, Zell, you can do it. Technically, you can card these things, you know, even if they... Uh, only lost a little bit of health, but you're just more likely to do so once they're low on health. Yeah, I do need to put Tornado on Squall because this is poor farming otherwise. Take us ages to get the abilities that we want. I'll go for a couple more attempts here, then we'll just escape for now until I put that back on him. Oh, man. Oh, let's just escape. This is too painful. Did we get experience then? Oh yeah, you get experience for attacking when you escape, don't you? That was okay if you didn't level and it was such a small amount. Uh, let's just go ahead. Yeah, that's what I've just about decided. Yeah, I've done that now, James. Uh, we'll just have to be careful not to attack with Squall. Should we face off against those fish because he'll one-shot them and we'll get experience. But we can just skip past him. And just let Renoa do the damage then. These won't take too long to card, I wouldn't have thought. And hey, we get 9 AP now for these, don't we? There we go, there's one. Is it between, is 500 his minimum, is it? Because if that's his minimum, it's probably what he's going to have. Because my characters are so low level. So even with Tornado, mind you, the defense is quite high, so I could actually attack with school, perhaps. You're better off farming on the Grendels, I believe. They give you a little bit less AP, but they're much faster to card than these enemies. But I can't farm Grendels at the moment. Because I can't encounter them right now. Okay, let's see if we can try and get some Adamantois. I think they're more common here than the fish. 
So I'm going to risk attacking once with Squall, see what happens. I won't use the Gunblade. Well, that should be fine. 216 points of damage. Yeah, I'm just going to attack them. Yeah, that's better. Look. That's much better. And he's got over 600 health for sure then. Uh-oh. Don't kill him. Oh, man. No! Oh, I thought he was dead then. I'm going to not do it with school. There we go. He's okay. He's down. Oh, yeah, Adam. Welcome, dude. Yeah, I'm going good. Thanks. You have a good weekend. Right, 8 AP. Let's just go ahead and save, shall we? Uh, I just don't off the top of my head, Crystal. I need to brush up again on the rules since I haven't really done so uh, for this playthrough. It's been a couple of years since I played. I've only really learnt, you know, enough in order to get the rules where we want them as we as we first see them. Yeah, that's true. You can... Which one's... That's that one, isn't it? Yeah. You can just put it on for farming. It just speeds the process up, really, doesn't it? I just forget to use it, to tell you the truth. I'm so used to playing Final Fantasy VIII without it. Maybe it's worth sticking something on Renoa on her strength. I don't think she can have anything on, actually. But if she could, might be kind of useful. All right, one more to go. Right, let me just have a quick look. Because I am actually interested in that myself. I'll have to check it out later. It sounds very confusing. To be honest with you. Well, that's a, uh, a fan theory. More than anything, Deacus. But it's a popular one. Well, thanks for stopping by, James. Enjoy the rest of your shift. What time do you finish? How many more hours you got to go? It would help if I actually take combat. No encounters off. Oh my, always these stupid fish. Mind you, they're pretty easy to zap, aren't they? Just gotta be careful going cycling through all the characters here that I don't accidentally attack with Squall. Because he will one-shot them. Guaranteed. Come on, Zell. That's more like it. <laughs> it's one of those fan theories that just makes the story more interesting, isn't it, Cyberbully? Wait, oh, I forgot Quetzalcoatl was learning that rubbish. I did change it, but then we reloaded, didn't we? 
uh, having gone in the forest by mistake. Well, Quetzalcoatl has got HP plus 10%, an ability I'm never going to use. Because I don't summon him. How much longer on Mug here? <laughs> well, bit of the same thing, I think, Serenity. <laughs> Depending on what you think of work, really, I suppose. But... <laughs> Yeah, good idea. Let me just see where they are in terms of uh, demi magics. One, I haven't actually got a whole lot of demi. I never really drew it from uh, what's his face. Oh, I, you can get it. What can you refine it from? I can't remember. Twenty-two on Zell. Hmm. Yeah, I should have probably given uh, Squall the Demi Magic. It is slightly annoying having to card enemies. But hey, look at that. Sometimes it's fast. Sometimes not so much. I don't particularly need to run from the fish because I'm only here for the AP and the fish actually give more AP than the Adamantoise. It's just a bit annoying because I have to keep not attacking with Squall. There we go. Still trying to get 200 AP is a lot faster now than it used to be. Yeah, I know that you can't card, but I'm setting the controller up as memory. Yeah, I only card enemies while trying to keep my uh, levels low. Other than that, yeah, don't bother. And it's only really when farming, otherwise you can just escape from battles, can't you? And then bosses don't give uh, experience anyway. So it is rare that you need to card just during farming sessions in a low level playthrough. There are a few encounters in the game, mind, uh, that you can't escape from that give experience. Hey, nah today, Bobo. Welcome to the stream. Lovely serenity. What a wonderful thought, thinking how many toilets have I been watched from. The problem with killing off Squall is that he's useful on the Adamantoise. <laughs> so it's kind of like a lose-lose situation. There's no other shortcut that we can take that I can think of, unfortunately. Other than to do it the way we're doing it. But it is tempting to just run away from the fish. It is a little bit of hassle to keep having to... Uh, do what we're doing there. And look, it is so fast to run away from them. So yeah, I'll try running away from the fish. See if that improves how much AP we're getting. But there's a lot of fish today. Yeah, good point. Could use the Ablos. Uh, actually, no, because we haven't got the Guardian Force ability. 
Okay, we'll try the Diablos farming method because he won't kill the fish. So we'll just go to ability here. Get rid of item. Nobody uses that nonsense. Seeing as how the turtles seem a little bit rarer than I remember them being. Oh, did you say that, did you, Shana? My apologies, I must have missed it when you did. I don't. You don't boost Diablos. He hasn't got a boost, has he? How much damage did he do? I actually missed it. Did it do damage to him? It must have done, surely. Yeah, level 8 at the moment. Thanks to all this farming that I'm doing. Get your dog out of here. Well, uh, Diablos didn't seem to do a whole lot. I actually got experience from escaping having done damage to them, which is annoying. Go away, you stupid fish. I know Diablos wouldn't kill them. I just can't be bothered with the fish. They're just too annoying to card. They're good at the start when it's only Squall and Quistis because Squall isn't doing a lot of damage then, so he can attack. Aha, this is more like it. There we go. Oh yeah, it's based on level. You're right, David. Thanks for subbing, Austin. So yeah, he does 8% damage. It's pointless. There we go. I'm just going to save. Should we accidentally level up? Now we've got all of this lovely AP. Right, how are we doing now? Ooh, nearly halfway there anyway. I think we're getting into a good routine here though. If we just escape from the fish because they're too slow. And then just battle the turtles here. Goodbye. Greetings folks, welcome to those of you stopping by on stream. You've just caught us in the middle of a bit of a farming session at the moment. Uh, because we're trying to learn Mug. Hello, Rafael in Brazil. No! No! I oh, just escaped from the turtles. Oh, dear. Oh. Yeah, we need Mug because then we can Mug those turtles for an item for Quistis. They also drop Adamantine, which is useful for Lionheart, but they won't drop that for me because they only drop it from level 30 onwards, I believe. Or whatever level it is, it's higher than what I'm at. So, that's not what we're here for. No, 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 get on the beach, get on the beach. There are some useful things to mug early on, is the reason. Uh, didn't mean to attack with Zell, but it doesn't really matter, he wouldn't have carded anyway. Ah, oh, that was nice and fast. Uh, Lud Genesis, welcome to the stream. Want to say I've been following your Final Fantasy XII Zodiac guide. Uh, so happy to see you actually play my favourite game in the series. Yeah, no, I had a lot of fun with that game. So glad you're enjoying it, dude. Yeah, there is some nice stuff to mug early on. But in particular, I'm just after the White Wind ability for Quistis. Which I know you can get later, but we're here now, so it just kind of makes sense. And I haven't done a whole lot of farming for AP yet, so we're kind of due to do some, really. I always feel bad farming for AP until we've got, like, all the Guardian Forces, because all the Guardian Forces you don't have are missing out on the farming. And then when you do get them, if you farmed on the old Guardian Forces, they're not then getting AP, if that makes sense. 
Hey, Lord, thanks for subbing. Much appreciated. Is it 20 onwards, is it, Crystal? Yeah, I knew it was higher than what I was. I thought it was 30, but yeah, 20 makes sense now you've said it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to escape from the turtles, for sure. I'd have to be an idiot to do that. Oh, wait, I did it. Yeah, well, one of the things about the Zodiac Age, Lud, is I completed it back in 2006, but I don't really remember it all that much. I definitely appreciate that a whole lot more now that I'm older. Ryan, thanks for subbing. Ah, GFs are learning abilities, but they're leaving Diablos behind, it seems. Who was that? Was that Shiva? Nope. Who was it? Oh, it might have been Shiva, actually. She's just learning an ability. She's already learning again. Oh, I don't want some magic plus 20%. I'd rather go for elemental defense junction, to tell you the truth. Uh, if it was one. Yeah, he's fine with that. Uh, you can go for magic plus 20%, Siren, if you'd be so kind. And Diablos is now on 122. We're nearly there, guys. Nearly there. Just 11 more fish battles. Not fish, turtle battles. Hey, of course you can. Shout out to Daniel's wife. Good of you to join us, Mrs. Wright. And thanks for the super chat there, Daniel. For Fuzz, the ultimate Final Fantasy Farmer. Final Fantasy without farming is like salad without lettuce. Actually, I just had salad last night without lettuce. I had spinach instead, so that analogy doesn't quite work. Right, here we go. It's fish time. I understand, guys, that farming enemies isn't the most exciting thing to watch on stream. But just think of all the justice that we're doing to all of those people that live around here. Being haunted by giant snapping turtles with sharp claws coming to torment them each day. So we are doing a service, I think. Yes, yeah, salad without dressing. Ugh, dry salad. That's how my wife eats salad, actually. I think she's crazy. If you're going to have the healthy option of salad, you need to smother it all in garlic and mayo dressing or something. Yeah, so the bonuses, and it's not just strength and magic that have them. You can get vitality bonus, uh, spirit bonus, and HP bonus as well. If you equip them as an ability on a party member, when that party member levels up, they get a permanent boost in that specific stat. So even when you remove the ability, they still have that boost. Yeah, I think so, Crystal. I think so. And with the speed up function, it's a lot more convenient now. <laughs> well, thank you, Adam. Yeah, that's it. We are doing our public service. Shame we're not killing the fish, but... People can't expect everything from us, can they? Oh, is it a rare drop, is it? Well, maybe we'll get it then. You never know, do you? You never know. I like Indian fast food as well, Serenity. A nice chicken madras curry goes down very well, I tell you. Fritz learned his next ability. Yeah, I'll just give him Mad Rush, which I don't really use all that much, but maybe it'll come in useful. 
Hello, Kirby. Yeah, had a good weekend, thanks. How about yourself? You've just caught us doing a little bit of grinding, trying to get the mug ability with Diablos. So that we can mug an item from the Adamantoys turtles here. At the moment, I'm farming just to get the mug ability, which we're nearly there now. These guys give quite a healthy 8 AP. Well, for two of them anyway. Uh, and then we're going to be mugging them. So you don't have to mug the oh, sorry, farm these at the moment. And perhaps you've already learned the mug ability previously. In which case, you definitely don't need to. <laughs> yes. There's definitely curry dishes in Final Fantasy XV, isn't there? Hi, Kodok. Welcome to the stream. Uh, you've only missed a bit of farming, so nothing too exciting. But we're nearly done with that now. I think a few more battles with these turtles and we'll have that mug ability. When you mug, you have a chance at stealing an item uh, that is usually rarer or better or just somewhat different than the items that you can get from the drop table of each enemy. But in particular, the Adamantoys uh, let you mug an item that gives Quistis the white wind limit break, which is actually quite powerful. But also, you can't get it from card refining. Oh yeah, absolutely, Crystal. Looking forward to battling those. And don't forget to draw Eden from Ultima. Let's just save so I don't get experience accidentally and have to reload and do a whole lot of farming again. Uh, right, how much further have we got until Mug? Very close now, very close. Yeah, Final Fantasy 15 was certainly divisive. When they announced... That we're going to be getting a similar battle system in the Final Fantasy VII Remake. I was a little bit concerned, I'll be honest. But based on what everybody's been saying, it's much improved over Final Fantasy XV's battle system. And nowhere near as clunky. I had enjoyment out of Final Fantasy XV, um, so I wouldn't say I either loved it or hated it. But I can definitely recognise it had substantial issues with it. Uh, the deal with Angelo Search, I've heard there's something specific you need to do to get it now. No, I think it works pretty much the same way as it always has worked in terms of how you unlock it and whatnot. I did do a video recently explaining how you can make the most out of Angelo Search. But pretty much the same way as it always has done. The only difference with Angelo Search now, as far as I'm aware, is the fact that some of the items from Chocobo World have been included with it. Oh, once we've done this, something I remembered we need to do is just head back to Dolit, where the Queen of Cards is. Um, get the Timber Maniacs magazine from inside the pub. And also set her trade rule to all, since it's set to one at the moment, isn't it, in Dolit? Yeah, I've heard that the Persona 5 is getting a remastered release as well. Which I'm looking forward to, because I enjoyed Persona 5. Uh, I only played for about 15 hours, but I would love to be able to play the remastered version with some of the changes that are coming to it.
The weather here, Daniel, is a little bit rainy today, unfortunately. Yeah, Persona 5 is definitely a different type of game, isn't it, to Final Fantasy? Oh yeah, you've had the hurricane and whatnot over there, haven't you, Daniel? Is that all over with now, is it, apart from the after effects of the weather, the rainy weather and stuff? Yeah, Chocobo World was a little game thing that was on the Pocket Station, which was only ever released in Japan. But they did bring it across to the PC version in the West, the software for it. The game itself was terrible. It was only really useful for bringing in some items into the game that you couldn't get otherwise. Yeah, sadly, I don't think we're going to be hearing anything about Final Fantasy 16 for a long time. Especially since Square have said that we need to see Final Fantasy 7 Remake as the next major number entry in the series. And we know they're dedicated or committing to that game for a long, long time since it's going to be multiple releases. I'd expect a different approach to Final Fantasy from now on. All the GFs are learning things except Diablos. But look at that, he's so close. 14, that's two more battles, I believe, with Turtle Breath. You don't need the trigger. Better off keeping it on three times speed. Feels like a mix between Pokemon and Final Fantasy. Right, this is what we need. Oops. Need to actually card. There we go. Right, so one more battle with these and then we should be done. Uh, actually, two more because we need to actually mug them. Hey, Nico girl. Not ending just yet. No, got a little bit more I need to get done. Before we officially end the stream. <laughs> the pleasure of the explosion animation. Yeah, I know what you mean. It is satisfying to see the gun blade in action. But it's also a little bit too tricky when it's on three times speed. And you get input lag from streaming at the same time. Right, so once this guy's carded, we'll have Mug. We'll associate Mug to Squall. And then we can go ahead and hopefully grab an... Oh, Whisper! Folks, I'm pretty sure that's the item. Did I get any others of those? Uh, yeah. What? I'm really confused. Did I get any other Whispers? If so, I did not need to grind out... No, I didn't. Look, that is the blue magic that we can teach Quistis, White Wind. That's what you can mug from that guy, from that turtle. But I actually got one to drop. Ah, that is really interesting. Hi, Vernon. Welcome. Hi, Mike. Uh, Odie can be a bit of a nuisance because he tends to give you experience, but... Trust me, Odin's not too bad unless he's going to be upgraded to Gilgamesh because you got him too early or whatever the case may be. Uh, then that can be a real pain, unfortunately. Well, I say upgraded to Gilgamesh. It's more downgraded than anything else. Well, we've got Mug now with Squall at least, even though we didn't need to mug those guys in the end. How you doing, Vernon? Uh, let's see what we've got. Right, we're going to head up here. And try and get the trade rule set to all. 
So, guys, if you can't see the save point there, then you need to make sure you've got the move find ability equipped. Hey, Lady Morgan. Welcome. No, you can lose to her uh, with the rules on anything, the trade rule on anything. Even if she takes all five cards, as long as she takes the rare card, then she should still move. Right, let's see if we can get her to go to all now. I think we're on one at the moment. No, 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 come off that, wrong thing. Come on. So, uh, diff, diff is good, but I'm going to say it to all. Although all can deteriorate into direct, which is a terrible rule, while the Queen of Cards is in the region, you can always change it back anyhow. So we're just trying to get her to set it to all. Gilgamesh can spawn at any point during battle. Uh, which if you're farming with Angelo search, especially if you're leaving your controller on and your AFK, it interrupts the entire farming session and there's no way to stop it. Trevor, thanks for subbing. Oh, come on. What is it? Your aversion to all at the moment. Hey, there we go. Just needed a bit of a telling off, apparently. Right, at this point, do not speak to her again. Otherwise, uh, she will, of course, probably change away from that. So we'll go ahead and save now. Right, one of these should have a secret room, shouldn't they? <laughs> yeah, I think this is the guy with the secret room. Uh, and now that we've actually got the rules set up so that we can actually play, uh, random as being abolished, etc, etc. Uh, we should have a chance of actually making some good progress here. Uh, we've got a difference. That's fine. We can always get all back at any point because we don't need to speak to the Queen for it now. Uh, we've got stupid elemental rule. But even so, it's not going to make too much of a difference. get a bunch of cards off him. I don't think any of them are particularly good, but we can then play him for a rare card. So we'll speak to him first. Oh yeah, element. Yeah, elemental is um, definitely the rule you want to be left with here. Crystal, in comparison, as you say, to some of those other ones. Random, you just don't ever want to play a game ever with random. It's awful. Right, I'm just going to go and save. Odin can show up, uh, of course, in any battle as well. But at least he only shows up at the start. He won't show up in the middle of battle. So if he hasn't shown up, then you know you're safe. Right, so this guy should have a chance of playing Siren now. Yep, that's absolutely right, guys. Uh, once he's in his room, I think... I don't know if he can play it before. Maybe he can, I'm not sure. Let's see if we can get him to go to all. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Right, there's Siren. Uh... I'll take that. 
if you don't mind. Thank you very much. Boing. And we'll get every card. Yeah, that's a good point, Crystal. You can get around it if need be. You're absolutely right. I didn't think of that. But yeah, if you find all your crud cards and only leave yourself with some, you know, five rare cards or whatever. Or just a bunch of rare cards that you know you can win with. Then yeah, that would be kind of helpful. Uh, there's one more thing to do here. I think. Sure, there's like a magazine. It's because, Mike, Odin, if you get him early, will become Gilgamesh or will be exchanged for Gilgamesh later on. And Gilgamesh is far inferior to Odin. Right, so we can keep examining this for three items. Uh, the one we actually want is the occult fan number two. Hi, Thunder Dragon. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? How's your YouTube channel going as well? Yeah, I definitely plan on platinum in the game. Uh, what was that? I missed it. But somebody just tell me if that was a cult fan. If it was, I know I'm done here. Phoenix down. So once you've got three items, you have to reset because you can't get any more. You can get quite a few healthy items here, can't you? Come on. Uh, yes, there it is, a cult fan too. We got it. We might as well get the third item as well while we're here though. Oh, you jump. Welcome to the stream. Uh, channel is saying no views. Oh, sorry to hear that, Thunder Dragon. Yeah, YouTube seems to really despise smaller channels lately. It's a real nuisance. So, sorry to hear that, but maybe some people in chat might stop by your channel and sub for you. Okay, so we're making some progress here. Uh, there's a few other things that we can do whilst we're in Dolit as well. I'll tell you what though, guys. I am going to take a break at this point, but I will plan on returning later. So, we can carry on, get the optional stuff done, and then move on to Galbadia. I do need to take a break though. Get some work done. You know, some important stuff that actually lets us uh, move on in life, in theory. Uh, no, I don't think so, Mike. I don't think so. Oh, that's good to hear then, Thunder Dragon. Yeah, card mods are very powerful ability. Alright, folks. Well, thanks for stopping by for the stream. If you guys can make it... I should be streaming in probably about four and a half hours time from now. I will schedule that. I just need to check with my wife that we're not doing anything this evening. It's 3.35pm where I am in the afternoon. Uh, and I'll probably start streaming again about 8pm. And then we'll pick up here. I'm really enjoying this playthrough actually of Final Fantasy VIII. I've got to say, I haven't played the game for a couple of years. Um, but I've got right back into it. And I'm really looking forward to getting through it and getting the Platinum Trophy. And I know we're not making the fastest progress through the game, but we are stopping to take all these detours, making sure we get everything done, making sure we're nicely overpowered, etc, etc. Yeah, alright then guys, well thanks for stopping by. Yeah, if I can catch you later, that'd be awesome. Uh, if not, then I should be streaming as well the same time tomorrow, even if you can't make it this evening. 
So, yeah, by all means, guys, check out Thunder Dragon's channel as well. Thunder Dragon has been uh, a loyal viewer of mine for quite a while now. So, I always like to see my viewers getting supported as well when they have their own YouTube channels. Yeah, appreciate you guys stopping by. Enjoy your afternoon, or morning, or evening, or whatever time it is where you guys are, and I'll see you later. Right, end of the stream. Goodbye.